From the time I was born till I was six weeks old, somebody that I've never met took me into their home, fed me, clothed me, they took care of me. Forty years later, my wife and I took our three teenage boys to Haiti, and we experienced people intentionally taking care of kids that needed a place to stay because their parents couldn't take care of them. It took me going 1,500 miles away to realize that foster care right here is no different than taking care of orphans in Haiti. It was a complete surprise to me to find out how many kids there were in my community that needed a place to stay that I didn't even know about. When I used to think about foster care, I thought of a screwed up state system. The human issues, the bureaucratic issues, there's a lot of opportunities for kids to get left in my mind. I don't feel that far removed from the life that they're living. They don't have a voice in what's going on in their world. It is frustrating, it is maddening, but the bottom line is, at the center of the system, there's innocent kids. So our family got foster certified, and then we waited. If we're being completely honest, there's a question of, could I ever love a kid that was not my own the same way? The very first foster child that came into our home was a two-week-old baby girl. The sleepless nights, the, the spit up, the diapers, it didn't take long to figure out the answer was absolutely yes. At the same time, one of the greatest fears is the thought that you might fall in love and then have to give this baby back. It can be really sad. And if we love the kids right that come through our house, it's gonna hurt when they leave. But when I look back, the only other option is that I never met the children that came through our home. The joy that these kids bring in, there's nothing like that in the world. I do miss sleeping, but I just drink more coffee now. <laughs> I know I'm an idealistic songwriter, but I can't help but get fired up and wanting to be a part of the solution. Foster care is providing for someone else with no expectation of anything in return. The only opportunity that really faces you every day is the opportunity to love whoever is right there in front of you. It's our responsibility to stand in the gap, whether that's six weeks or whether that's a lifetime.